just like the first joint, you always remember where and when. Same with the first sex. So I get out of this, I did like five months, got out of that sucker, man, because it was strange, like I said, they, they uh, you know, you gotta literally lay down, this is good, you gotta lay down on the ground and act like you're vaping, frying in the pan. So basically, you're making fun of someone that's spasmatic, because what is bacon look like? Anyway, I mean, that's a tangent if I ever heard of one. And it is distasteful, even though I like bacon. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Lazy tramps, mosquitoes and ants, and bow-legged tramps. Uh, Pervian, oh my God. She signed my yearbook, so this is my love life is starting to sprout along with my, uh, her budding tits and my budding art, and career, art career. <laughs> career. You know why I left her? At, at a party at Steve's house, we were dancing good, man. I was dancing then too. Not That's one thing, I wasn't embarrassed about dancing then either. You know, when you're young sometimes, you know, the guy with the wooden eye asks the girl with the glass eye to dance and she says, uh, would I, would I? And he goes, glass eye, glass eye. Or not would I, glass eye. Yeah, fuck, I got it all. You get the idea. Uh, anyway, I tried to sleep with her. That would have been my first sexual encounter of uh, full service uh, intercourse. But no, she was a good girl that didn't, wouldn't let me. And it wasn't the first date, by you. So basically, I kind of blew her off after that because Larry gets his way. I was playing King Baby shit, I guess, syndrome because I pretty much left her after that. But lo and behold, no, I think we hooked back up because I ran into her at Mass and Hammock. But she was a beauty. I wish I had pictures of her. So Perry Ann by the wayside. But my fifth grade girlfriend is haunting me. Fifth grade? Of course, we ain't having sex. But she was became the manager of the oldest liquor license in Miami. Well, what did happen is on Lake Hammock Lakes, which is a gorgeous spot, there's an island there too. But we were on the house across from that. I'm in bed. This is Tracy, by the way. Tracy. And which is so weird in this sexcapade was she liked Oreo cookies, even though she wasn't a chubby. She was a little, like, you know, well-rounded. But she had Oreo cookies around her mouth. So I thought that was, like, gross. I didn't want to kiss her. Now, being an old, dirty man, old man pirate, I would have licked the Oreos off of every orifice of her body. Um, but, yeah, anyway, but I was about to penetrate her. And Jack's mom busted in. Jack's mom busted in. You guys get out of the bed. I mean, literally. And this happened twice, by the way. Hey, and around the same era. Not with her. That was Tracy. Tracy F. I'm keeping them semi-anonymous. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't even remember this other girl's name. She was a rock guitarist I met at that bar. I can't think of the name either. That was a guitar electric guitar. She could play REO Speedwagon, man. Really good. And she was like my age, actually, you know, like we were 16, 17 or whatever. And she, well, yeah, her in front of Danny Fasol Park, exact same thing, just about to penetrate. And a cop, a woman cop, knocking on the door, you know, like get a room. And I don't know why I didn't get with her either, man. All these times I'm relaying is, that's it. I don't remember any, like, well, let's try again on the next date. So I guess I better get to the time I did close the deal. And that was, I don't remember. <laughs> the humorous part about that one, first love that. Shit, now I'm old, so fuck for a pirate. I had to make up for lost time. That's why I had two or three. <laughs> Menage a trois and this good old garden variety orgy. Yeah, even other guys naked. That's not my thing, but I got no problem with it. But yeah, if you even touch some of the guys that you're in bed with, they would get pissed off, I remember. That always was weird to me, man. Hey, I'm not trying to get you. I got my hands full right here with this woman. She is a handful, you know. But they're slapping my hand away because it casually brushed their buttocks. Please. 
the uh, who does that? You know, I mean, I'm not like putting my tongue up his anus. You know, the uh, yeah. Matter of fact, now I'm thinking of that guy that did that. He man, I'm laying next to them sleeping up in South Miami when we parked that 55 businessman scoop that we did the trip to Colorado with when I was about that age. With the same, with the same, only one girl there, and she's done with him. Or he's done with her. And I roll on top of her to get sloppy seconds. And she pushes me off right again, right at the stage of penetration. So I'm like, God damn, man. I'm having a lot of near misses here, man. And I got good aim. Just aim for the wet spot. But the, uh, so who the hell was it? It was cold as hell. Chinese village where I was growing up. I was reared <laughs> by the same woman. No, that's why the Greek fisherman didn't want to go out. He didn't want to leave his brothers behind. Uh, yeah, I don't remember names here. I'm taking names and no prisoners. The uh, Anyway, it was very, very cold because I was using her breast as earmuffs at Deep Pizza by the University of Miami. She was the daughter. This is my first lay, by the way. That rhymes, you get it? No way, Jake. Get on the bus, Gus. The, uh, shit. Anyway, I read the embarrassing point of this lovemaking. I'd like to think I was Casanova, you know, showed everybody a thing or two. I acted like, yeah, I'm macho, and this is not my, I'm not a virgin up to this point, with all those, with those few near misses I mentioned. But instead of just getting at it, I remember like gingerly taking off all my jewelry and then I had jewelry on nothing nowadays it's like yeah if I go <laughs> not much to it other than missionary I believe but I took off all my jewelry and she's going oh I leave mine on and I was like well I don't always take it off but I whatever I made up some phony excuse of why I took off all my jewelry with her oh yeah and like I said she was the daughter of Ashley yeah Check it out, some soul sister. She was the art teacher's daughter. Well, yeah. Yeah, and her brother, you know, his brother had total a car, was staying at a friend's, because that's how I met her. And he, he was with her. So I meet her at whatever. Then, uh, yeah, so that was it. Then I, she was not a girlfriend, but I was uh, just like the first joint. You always remember where and when. Same with the first sex. Ever since it's been a blur of non-stop constant. A flood of hot chicks. <laughs> yeah, right. But, well, no. Not too, I'm serious. I always say I don't have to embellish, therefore to exaggerate or enlarge a fish story, even though it was gigantic mo. You know, yeah, with five strippers, right? When I caught my fish naked. But uh, it's because they stand alone. They're good enough by themselves without having to um, interject any fillers or the bullshit. So, because, yeah, I'm going to see. I put, I for, well, I broke that law, but for years, I pretty much not, ma you're not making a living making pictures. But doing doodling, I really can't sketch a still life of fruit, man. Or standing there in class as the guy, you know, where they draw, you draw the human body. I kind of skip. I was the human body, man. I was hanging on to a wire. I think I'm PCP. This is in a high school, public high school. But me and my brother were friends. He was a gay art teacher. And my brother was, I don't think he was sleeping with him, but he was good friends with him. He was a nice short guy with like carrot top, but he, a good artist, man. He was a good painter. This guy, man, it wasn't my style or taste, but he was, he was, uh, what do you call it? He was talented. The guy was talented. He should, but it's like too good to be teaching in senior high school. Uh, anyway, I'm hanging on to this wire so I don't fall off the table because I was high as hell. That's not why it was there. Well, it was there to keep your balance. But, and I, I think I was in like my underwear. So that's embarrassing because for class, in front of the class. But they were trying to sketch my body. 
And I don't know if any of where you guys grew up, but you ever have? My brother sent me, actually, I think he snuck pictures somehow. There was no cell phones when we were going to school. Yeah, no, he didn't have, how did he get pictures? Anyway, of where they would bring live nude models into class to sketch their human form. And you get the bodies and the shadows right, you know. Hey, bring your vagina a little closer so I can capture it correctly, you know. <laughs> But the, uh, may I handle your breast just to get the, uh, I want to exhume all the sensuality I can that it may transfer to my sketch pad here. 